Hello and welcome aboard your Air Vanuatu flight to paradise. From some of the most diverse cultures in the world, to beautiful beaches, spectacular volcanoes, gorgeous flora and fauna, let me show you around my island home, Vanuatu. Our island nation is unique in the world. We are proud of our customs and culture and can't wait to share it with you. A relatively new country, we gained our independence from Britain and France in 1980. Since then, we have opened our doors to the world. If this is your first visit to Vanuatu, here's a few tips to make your arrival as smooth as possible. Please dispose of all airline food and any fruits or vegetables in the quarantine bins provided. We are an island nation free of many pests that may endanger our precious agriculture and horticultural industries. Have your documents ready for immigration. They will need your passport, completed arrival card and your return ticket home. Once you step outside, you will see what a clean and green country we have. So please keep it that way for your children and ours. Vanuatu's capital, Port Vila, welcomes you with breathtaking scenery. You may have been lucky enough to catch a glimpse from the air. Vila, as we call it, has many island resorts, hotels and apartments, most with bars and restaurants open to the public. Do take the time to visit them all. Day guests are welcomed, so plan a lunch, dinner or sunset drink. From water sports to water views, we have it all. And the smile we share with you, the world can see. Once you've settled into your hotel, it's time to get your bearings and check out Port Vila. Head down the main street, a bustling, colorful, uniquely Vanuatu commercial center. See the carefree children diving straight into the harbor from the seafront area. This is where we like to hang out, meet friends, picnic by the water. There are often free concerts around this area, as well as the local mama's markets. Check out the sarongs and handicrafts. Have a shoulder massage or get your hair braided. Join in for a game of petong if you like. We play most days and you're welcome to take us on. Further along the waterfront is the main Port Vila market, open 24 hours a day, six days a week. Here, you'll find our local kakai, our food. On Saturdays, our fresh flowers are also on display. We're keen gardeners, come and have a look. During the week, fresh organic fruit and vegetables, homemade baked bread, and our homegrown coffee are available for sale. You'll even find lobster and crab on occasion as well. Bring a basket and ask as many questions as you like. Some of you will not have seen such different fruits and vegetables before. Back on the main street, you will also find the Vanuatu Tourism Office. This is your one-stop shop for tours and all Vanuatu has to offer. Check out the National Museum and Vanuatu Cultural Center as well. Take the kids on a Saturday morning to hear tales of custom and culture. The tourism office can also assist you with finding local church services or where to experience village life. Join expats for a game of cricket or take on the locals in football. Do take the time to see the real Vanuatu. Vanuatu is the adventure capital of the South Pacific. Try abseiling, go horse riding on the beach parasailing in the harbour, join a game fishing charter or even take on our breaks. 
surfboards are available for hire at Pango Surf Club in Port Vila. One of the most popular must-dos while you're visiting us is to hire a car and drive around the island. Our sealed ring road ensures for an easy trip. Stop off at the road markets or call in to a resort for lunch. Experiencing an authentic village is also a must. Learn how we hunt, cook, dance and celebrate. You may even get to meet a chief and hear stories about our way of life. For the more adventurers, try scuba or snorkeling. We have beautiful untouched reefs and easy wrecks to explore in and around Port Vila. All dive shops offer courses from an introductory dive to whet your appetite to full paddy and SSI certifications. You can skip the road trip and try sailing or even flying if you like. You can book helicopter and other joy flights in Vila to get an even better view of our beautiful island. From the air, you may see our beautiful Mele Cascades, a great day out for the young and young at heart. The Mele Cascades are spread over several levels. The young can paddle in the refreshing pools below while the adventurers climb to the top. The walk is easy with handrails most of the way. The experienced guides point out fruit and nut trees on the way and may even stop for a sing sing. The Cascades are one of our most popular tours. Whilst you don't need to book, it's a good idea to check ahead and go on a non cruise ship day. That way, you'll have more time and space to check out this gorgeous location. There are many forms of shopping in Vanuatu, bound to cater to everyone. Please support our local handicrafts industry by buying handmade baskets, wood carvings and other artifacts. Quarantine can help you with information about requirements to take your goods home. In the main street of Vila, you will find loads of clothing shops, some exclusive to Vanuatu. Vila also has international duty-free shops, selling genuine perfumes, electronic equipment, alcohol, Pacific black pearls, homeware, you name it. Vila has it all. Adventure sports, romantic restaurants, fun bars and great shopping. But it really is just the start of your journey. Vanuatu is made up of 83 islands. Air Vanuatu Island Tours will be more than happy to help you see as many of them as you like. Tana, probably our most famous outer island, is just a 35-minute flight south of the capital. There are plenty of choices of accommodation here, from upmarket bungalows to local guest houses. Fine dining, massage, great snorkeling and more can be found at bungalows close to Whitegrass Airport. It's a good idea to have a rest before your trip to the edge, literally. Mount Yasur the world's most accessible active volcano is the reason people make the voyage to Tana. The trip across the ash plain is something you will never forget. It feels like you are on Mars. Getting there is half the fun. There are no roads, just the knowledge of your local guide. From the car park, it is a short steep walk to the crater. And yes, you will have to pinch yourself to realize you are actually here. The volcano is constantly monitored for activity. We'll only let you up there when it's safe. If you have time, it's best to see Yasur at nighttime in all her glory. 
However, you will discover that Tana is not just Yasu. This beautiful island is home to breathtaking scenery and amazing culture. Visit Shark Bay, Port Resolution, and the Black Magic Village. You learn a lot and have a great time doing it. The island of Espiritu Santo, a 45-minute flight north of Port Vila, is our agricultural capital. The largest island in the country, Santo has a frontier feel to it and is proudly the gateway to adventure. Get your bearings at the Vanuatu Tourism Office and spend a bit of time in Luganville, Santo's capital. The locals are friendly and there are plenty of hotels and guest houses available. Santo claims the title of having another world's best. We are home to the world's largest, most accessible shipwreck, the SS President Coolidge. Dives on this wreck are easier than you think, starting at just 18 meters at the Coolidge's bow. Shore dives are the norm, although boat dives are recommended for the deeper dives. Full courses and intro dives are available at all the dive shops in Santo. But like Tana and Mount Yasur, there is more to Santo than just the Coolidge. Local guides such as Timmy from Santo Heritage Tours can show you the best parts of this beautiful island. Paddle down the Riri River, visit our stunning freshwater blue holes or take in World War II sites. Luke from Paradise Tours can take you to our most famous icon, Champagne Beach. This picture-perfect spot has powder-soft white sand and crystal clear water. More often than not, you'll have the beach to yourself, your own private paradise. If the locals are around, you may get to see traditional fishing using coconut fronds. Ask us questions. We love meeting tourists and are proud to show you our unsurpassed fishing techniques. A highlight for many visitors to Santo is a visit to a custom village. Vilvil or Fanafo are two of the best where you can experience authentic life in a custom village. There's no PA system or souvenir stands here, just our simple way of life. See us make kava and try a shell if you like. Help us prepare dinner or just hang out with the kids. You'll be welcome here. After your Santo adventure, you should see the mother of all adventure sports, Nangol or land diving on the island of Pentecost. This is the original bungee jumping, but without the mod cons. Every April and May, the Nangol festival is held to encourage a good yam harvest. Locals say the tradition started when a frightened wife jumped from a tree with a vine tied to her ankle to escape a cranky husband. Now, it is only men who land dive and you're welcome to watch the spectacle. Book this adventure with Air Vanuatu Tours in Port Vila. There is so much more to see of my beautiful country. I hope you'll take time to explore the outer islands and villages. For more information, please take your copy of Island Spirit magazine with you on your Vanuatu adventure. Look him you.